uh, last Cahirlock. And if there was ever two people that spoke a rock of sense in this House, it has to be Senator Pat Casey and Senator Alice Mary Higgins, the last two speakers. Um, I do actually support this amendment set down by uh, Senator Mary Fitzpatrick. Um, I just want to know what does it mean to the current development plans, because certainly the national planning framework needs completely to be reviewed at this time. Um, I'm only talking about Mead, and let's, let's look at Mead. Currently in Mead, the local authority have no land, no land where they can provide any housing. For, the, for affordable housing, social housing, they have absolutely no land to build on. So they are at a complete disadvantage. And what are they doing? They're de-zoning land. Now, we all know that not all zoned land will be developed. It's clearly misguided to require de-zoning of land based on any assumption that all zoned land will be developed. Elected members in drafting a, da a draft amendment plan are entitled to consider the extensive de-zoning may have unpredictable economic effect of raising development land prices and affecting the economic viability of housing developments by raising house prices and costs including in social and affordable housing. Any proposals to reduce zoning, a planning authority is not necessarily bound to consider that all development land will be developed. And I think they should. I honestly think they should. A planning authority has to be cognizant of the fact that dezoning land for residential uh, development inevitably tends to increase the cost of housing by pushing up uh, the, the sale of the remaining zone land. So, I, I am supporting this, but land and dezoning of land in this, in this country is you're making a big mistake going down the line. So I, I welcome the, the, the publishing plans of, of periods of three years and five years and ten years, and uh, I will be supporting the amendment this afternoon. Thank you.